little nervous this morning going out and checking the animals. Gina said she tried waking me up around 1 a.m. this morning, but I didn't wake up. She said it sounded like something was getting eaten alive. So, I hope it's not a chicken or any of our animals, guys. Whew. It was 42 degrees out yesterday. A bunch of our snow melted and it's 20 degrees up now this morning. So it's pretty slick. Come on and chicken. Did everybody survive last night? Let's go inside and check inside New York City. So far it's looking good. So dark near the camera don't want to focus. No casualties in NYC. I hear Rusty, so we know Rusty's good, but hopefully they didn't get in and get one of his girls. We'll have to check them after. We'll just go take care of the goats, check on the other critters, and then after that we get to finish working on the barn build, guys. Oh, it's gonna be good. It is a weird foggy morning out on the homestead, that's for sure. So earlier this year we put some traps out and a trail cam out. We didn't have any luck catching the predators that were around, especially the one that ate our crazy white chicken, favorite chicken, here on the homestead. So I'm gonna go on Amazon today and I'm gonna order a different kind of trap. and see if we can put some traps out and find out what's creeping around the homestead at night because I don't like not knowing. It's supposed to warm up again today and be in the 40s and rain. And I'm hoping we can get quite a bit of work done on on this part of the barn right here before the rain comes in. The 40s is gonna be nice, but the rain, not so much. You don't even know what you're squawking about, huh? You sniffing anything out that was around the homestead last night, huh? Can you smell any critters that were around? Can you? Supposed to find them. Let me know where they're hiding. Okay. Is that a deal? She's wagging her tail. That must mean yes. Okay. You go sniff them out. Fuck, oh, you still got hay left over from yesterday. I don't know if you can see that or not, guys, but Blossom gets to go on a date. Blossom's got that good old tail wag going on, and Willow is being mean to her, huh? I think that means it's date day today there, Blossom. Yup. And there's Pluto waiting for us. She's not finding no predators yet. Before we bring Blossom over to go on her date, we'll uh, let them eat breakfast first, and then we'll... We'll bring her over and we'll put her in with Zeke. That's what you guys all voted for. Uh, we did a post so oh, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, I can't wait till it warms up and we stop melting some of this ice. Oh, how did everybody do last night, Rusty? All your ladies accounted for. I see Rusty, two lady. I see the olive egg layer. Any eggs yet? Not yet this morning. I'm not sure what animal got eaten last night, but it wasn't one of ours. That's a good thing. Uh, we definitely gotta get some traps set up and see if I can set that trail camera up. I don't know where they're coming in, so it's hard. We'll get a few traps and we'll set them up in different spots so that way we can tell where they are. Walk like a penguin. It's a slippery. Once you get up here, it's not bad. And actually where we cleared out yesterday in front of the building is a lot of dirt. So our work and play area will be good. You ready for your date? Come on. Oh, her tail's a wagon and... Come on. There you go. Not you this time there, Caleb. We're gonna get Zeke in here. He's all excited. Not your turn. Ooh. Go ahead. No. 
You smell that? That smells like a boy, huh, Blossom? Stinky boy. Look at his lip. Oh yeah, I didn't think he did that. Ah! <laughs> you smelling? Oh, You're silly. Does that mean she is it? Smells something. She smells him. <laughs> Your lips are quivering. What are you doing? All right, I'll go get you some hay and then we'll leave you two alone. We'll have to write it down on the calendar. Here, I'll give you some food. Maybe they'll get you guys something in common and you can nibble on some hay together. Go ahead, go nibble on some hay. Find some commonality. It's like dinner in a movie. I got the workshop warming up, so if we need a place to come in and warm up, be careful. Slippery. I put the heat up a little bit. Ah. Oh, it's so nice having that ladder up there. I haven't used this in a little while. Bam. For now, we're going to need one of them at 114 inches and a half. And then I'll mark the layout where we want the other one. This one should be close. One fourteen and five eighths. One fourteen and seven eighths. Thank you. And then we're going to need six of them at 38 and a half. I got the air pressure turned down or I don't like the frozen wood. Huh? Let's see. Oh, I just got to figure out why I didn't nail in. Ah, uh, air pressure's turned down. Ah, uh, six total. That's better. Um, I'll have you hold this tape measure. Right, hold on. Go to that post. Side edge. No. You tie it up against the 4x4. Four four. So, 114 and a half again. I just wanted to double check and make sure. There we go. I like that. Perfect. 
cut. I like it. Alright, let's get the layout for the windows. Perfect fit. I like it. Perfect. I need one at 25 and an eighth and one at 25. Be so nice once we have this all finished and enclosed. Yeah. 
what does that give us? 33 and an 8. Perfect. We want to be here. We want to be here. I thought I might have gotten too many 2x4s. Might not have enough. I don't think any of these are long enough. Nope. Nope. Blossom's hanging out with Caleb. Her and Zeke want nothing to do with each other. Zeke's over there eating hay, and there Caleb and Blossom are making kissy faces through the fence. Are you the little man there, Caleb? That's Caleb making all that noise. Come here, Blossom. Oh, she's like, yeah, daddy, bring me home. Come here. Oh. Guess they're gonna spend the day together. Hey, you weren't getting the job done. You were too interested in your hay. So, I'm sorry, that's what has to happen. You can't do your job, you don't get to finish. Yeah, hey. I don't know what to tell you. Now they're back out. They're little love bugs. Oh, she's playing hard to get. He's all excited. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, I had to take care of this now. I don't know what I was thinking, but it was not right. So let's do this. I got quite a bit done, but I will say I did forget how much it slows you down working in this kind of weather with the cold, the ice, the snow. One thing I don't miss about working construction and building houses is working in this stuff all year round. So, now we have a fun project to continue with guys, but it's gonna be so nice once this is done. Still trying to figure out what we want to do for the front. I'm thinking maybe an arched open way like the firewood shed, so that way if we want to park the Kubota in here or maybe something else, we can, but I don't know. We might need that for a stall later on, so we might have to build doors for it. I don't know, I'm still conflicted on how to do the front. I want to leave a wide enough opening, say seven feet, six feet, so we can get something in and out of here if we need to, but I want to be able to close it off at the same time if we need to. So do I, does that mean I got to build like big du double doors? Not sure. Leave it in the comments down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Olivia has an impressive spaghetti and meatballs and it's going to spaghetti in the instant pot. We like the flavoring that the sauce just soaks it right in. So I'm just gonna do the 
spaghetti, the water, and the sauce and try that out this time. And then I'm just gonna cook up the meatballs on the, heat them up. We made the meatballs, we froze them a week or two ago. So we're just gonna reheat them on the, on the stove. I'm not sure how they will hold up in here. You don't need Mr. Nelson, but it's cute. And then you have something to pull up, push. It's not so hot and it's catching the little knob. So I'm gonna do marrow for eight minutes. I'm gonna have to hold that down because I have eight chicken broth. Don't fall. I'll go get the Okay, what's your guess? Um, 25. 25, that'd be nice. Oh, I guess six. I'll say four. None. What did I guess? What did I guess? Six. Yeah. What did you guess? Four. Oh, it's five. It's five, so in between. <laughs> Don't fall over. You're gonna lose your eggs. No. You haven't been getting any Easter eggs. That's right, we haven't been. Those are the ones that are... You, you didn't care how the whites are spread out. Yeah. Either, so... They've been slacking. Put out here. So we're gonna leave Blossom with Caleb tonight, and let them have a date night. And then tomorrow, sometime tomorrow, we'll separate and probably we'll see if she's still in heat or not. You're spending the night. Boy, does it feel good to be out working on the exterior part of the barn. There's just something about building and creating a building. I don't know, it just gets my blood and juices flowing. So I'm looking forward to get it all enclosed and see what the barn looks like when we're all done. So Blossom is spending the night with Caleb and we divided the barn in two. So there's no way the, we have the old milk and rum and we have the front section. So the goats are locked into different sections. So There'll be no issues there throughout the night. But man, Zeke, he was not interested. But Caleb, boy, he was. So hopefully, keep our fingers crossed. We'll write this date down on the calendar. In between today and tonight, hopefully the deed is done. And in five months, we have babies. I don't know what it is, but I swear the spaghetti tastes better in the Instant Pot. It just has more flavor when it's cooked that way. Me and Olivia agree that, but... Gina doesn't believe so. I don't know, but that's what we think. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and a good Thanksgiving weekend. 
wanted to thank you for coming along on our homesteading journey with us you guys are a huge blessing to us and our homestead speaking about homestead i got some traps ordered so we can see what's been lurking around at night i gotta come up with a better way to set up the game camera i wish i could use my drone all night long and just have the drone going then that way we could see what was creeping around so we'll figure it out we gotta get revenge for old cwc Thanks for coming along, guys, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.